Hey everyone, welcome to Daily Dose. I'm Chris Riley, and let's give you a little scenario here. You're in the emergency department. You look up at the patient's monitor and you see a wide complex tachycardia. What's your next move? Whatever it is, it could be the difference between stabilizing your patient or sending them into V-fib arrest. Is it ventricular tachycardia or supraventricular tachycardia with aberrancy? This is a question undoubtedly asked by every EM physician or provider at some point in their career. Before you ask this question, just realize even trained cardiologists only get this distinction right about 80% of the time. People talk about different algorithms like Brugada and Varecki. They're good for academic discussion, but they're not sensitive enough alone with a combined sensitivity of about 90%. Is that an acceptable miss rate? Here is the golden rule, and this is something that is preached by the EM cards legend, Dr. Amal Matu. If it's wide and fast, and clearly not sinus or SVT with a known bundle branch block in all of the same leads as the prior EKG, the differential diagnosis is number one VTAC, number two VTAC, number three VTAC. There are a few things that are seen more often in VTAC, but again, wide complex tachycardia, you should be thinking VTAC. And those things are AV dissociation, where the atrium, aka the P waves, and the QRS complex, which is the ventricular electrical activity, are completely out of sync. They're not communicating with each other. Another thing is seeing fusion or capture beats, extreme axis, like a northwest axis, and no RS complex in any precordial lead. You can also use something called the Lewis lead to unmask any atrial activity to check and see if there is AV dissociation. You can also think about giving an adenosine challenge, but just remember there are rare cases of adenosine sensitive ventricular tachycardia. So a response doesn't rule out VTAC. And here is a perfect example contributed by Dr. Amal Matu and Dr. Jesse McLaren of an ECG that fulfills none of the Brugada or Varecki criteria and was later diagnosed in the EP lab as ventricular tachycardia. Here's the bottom line. Most wide complex tachycardias are ventricular tachycardia, especially if it's not clearly sinus tachycardia with a bundle branch block or SVT with a known bundle branch block in all of the same leads as a prior ECG. Wide complex tachycardia equals VTAC until proven otherwise. Let the electrophysiologist figure that out in the EP lab. Head over to MRAP and check out Corpendium to help you develop an approach to tachy dysrhythmias.